What did you do there? Yeah, you'll see. But don't hit oh, stop you, until yeah. I say stop. Are you actually logging it to a file? Yeah, and I'm going to pull up the graph. Alright. Uh, only, only useful if you've got the graph facility. I mean, Which software. they should all have. Yeah. Just keep your stereo and keep the DO. Let's get stable. It's actually quite a nice response now. Have you noticed that? The first time it was quite slow, and now this time I just got used to it. How can that make a difference when you, you put it back in the forum between the two tests? It hasn't got a memory, has it? No. Actually, it's not slowing down now, it's taking its time. It's getting to about 7.2, so it's going the right way. Ground loops is what I was going to tell you. That was one of the big issues with PHS. Oh, sorry, yeah. Surface area, and there's tiny surface area on these PHSs, relatively. Mm -hmm. And, um, you yeah, know, the reference. Yeah. Those are th things that will affect the performance of a pH sensor. The blocking of the uh, blocking of the reference or the leaching of the of the electrolyte. The ground loops. But the it's got to be there's got to be a lot of ground loops, I reckon, on that cable. That's maybe why Andy's getting erratic. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Ground loops are that's stable. I keep don't don't press anything. <laughs> can you be a bit bigger than that? <laughs> Probably worth having this bit set up. <laughs> no, it's good to show him how to do it. Okay. Beautiful curve. <laughs> 